guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley and you are watching Mrs. Shorty today we are going to be going to go into Forever 21 however let me tell you a little bit about me and my brand I am a petite plus size woman and also I do fashion beauty and as well as small business content here on my channel and if you like that kind of thing, then go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button to be notified of all my future videos. I will be posting every Monday and Friday, every single week. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna go into Forever 21 Petite Plus Size, or just basically their plus size, and go into depth on that. We're gonna see if they are Petite Plus Size friendly. So let's get started. Okay, so I paired up these leggings with this cropped baby doll top. Um, the baby doll top is from Shein, but these are from Forever 21. So these are their black, uh, I believe, I'll have everything in the description down below. Um, so if you guys want to find the exact um, product or the same exact clothing as me, they'll all the links will be down below in the description box. So this is their black legging. I would say this is more on the casual side and not a gym friendly um, legging just because it is a little bit thinner and um, it's like thin but not as thick. So, you know, take that with the great assault. Um, it does have a big wide band up on top and also at the very bottom it has it has um little cutout details but since i am four foot eleven and i am a size 18 to 20 that these size this sizing was a 2x 3x is what they have it listed on their website um so the length of it it does bunch up at the knees and it bunches up at the ankles so I'm not going to get that effect go like that on me. So the cutouts don't really show on me because of the fact that it is a little, it has a more fabric. Um, I won't be able to really hem leggings because leggings are leggings and they're kind of like the nylon effect and we don't want to do that to these. So I am just... I do really like these leggings for casual wear. Um, however, yeah, so I like them for casual wear. I like them to pair with other, you know, other items, but I'm not going to wear them to the gym or anything. This is definitely for lounge wear. And I did get these in another color, which is a nice mauve pink, uh, which I'll show in here in a little bit. But yeah, um, this... This is the black leggings, and let's go on to the next outfit. Okay, this is the next outfit. So it is a dress, as you can see. It has silver polka dots, and it is white. This is great for Easter or um, any occasion uh, for spring and everything like that. Um, so it is a really nice white dress it's very clean modest looking um and it has these silver circles or silver uh polka dots which is really nice touch um and it is flared this is a 2x in um in their plus sizing and what's really good about this one it does come down to the knee. The slip dress does come just right above my knee. I am four foot eleven, um, and it cinches at the waist, which is, which is really good. You can definitely accentuate the waist more by applying or putting on your favorite belt that would match your accessories. Um, I think that would look really cute with this outfit, but I really like the flare on it as well as yes it does come with um a adjustable strap so this adjustable strap is good for short arms um because i do have problems with you know straps being longer because my um dimensions from my armpit to my 
to my shoulder, top of the shoulder, is a lot more, as you can see there, it is a lot less fabric that I would need. So I'm, I'm super happy that they have the adjustable straps um, so that I can go ahead and adjust as needed. And yeah, so this is a great one. Um, I want to talk about these boots. So these boots were a great find, as you guys know, in 2020. I was really on the hunt for these knee-high boots because I do have wide calves. Um, my calf sits a little bit lower than most because I am shorter. Um, so yeah, let's get into these um, I am wearing the leggings from before um, just to keep them up, but they do go past my knee here and it is a low profile boot. So if you're like me and you can't wear high heels, but you still want a boot, this is a great option. I'll leave the link down below. They do come in wide sizes, which is great. So I got mine in a size wide eight. It fits my calf perfectly. It goes over my knee. It does have a... Um, faux leather lace right here in the back to tie up they as well as the zipper in the inside of the boot which is for me it's not needed i can actually slip slip on these boots in and out without any problems yeah so right now all i can feel right now for this dress is that right here unfortunately is a little bit scratchy um, I don't know what is making that scratching. Oh, so on the actual silver uh, dot polka dots, there is some frayage. Um, and it's starting to poke at my, um, my side right here. So that's really uncomfortable and unfortunate. However, how I would pair this, I would actually pair this with a kimono and, um, you know, make... And that would really just take care of this portion um, if my arms were in like a flowy soft sleeve then that shouldn't be a problem other than that this dress is really cute and I really like it the length is perfect for me um, even though they are in the plus sizing so just know that for me it's at my knees um, for you if you are taller than me then just know that it will hit a little bit higher for you and that might be a good or bad thing. So just kind of know what you what you want. Let's get into yeah. that. So I kept everything the same. The only thing that's changed is actually this top. This top is my favorite top so far. It is really, really um, super soft. It is... Um, just super soft, super comfy, super loungy. Um, it does look really modest in the front, like nothing that exciting. It is a 2X. As you can see, it is a little bit on the slouchier side. It does have a bat wing here, something similar to a bat wing. Um, and then the length of the sleeve, as you guys know, that since it is not, you know, petite plus sizing, it is definitely a plus size and it has a little bit of extra um, fabric. So if you're taller or have longer arms than me, this would be great for you. But however, it is still a great piece. I like how loungy it looks. Um, it does have this chunky ribbed knit style, which I really like. Super comfortable, super cool. And... Let's get into the back. This is a great piece. I really like it. Love the open back. I um, love the detail of the back, except for the top of it. It has a string there, which they could have done without. I've seen or I've tried on and seen other pieces um, ribbed. I think I did, did a ribbed knit dress before. It was in my other videos. I'll have it linked below if I could find it. Um, and basically it has an open back as well, but it doesn't have that extra piece, which it's really not needed, but I guess it adds a little bit more style to, to the open back. But I really like this shirt, super comfy, 
comfortable, super loungy. Um, and yeah. Okay. Next, so this next item is this top. Um, actually a lot of these are tops. So this is a sage green, like a mint green top. I really super like it. It is in a 2X. It's that like really fitted look. Um, there's no slouch on it, which is fine. This is definitely one of those items that I would be pairing with jeans and or shorts. So this one has this right here, which is really cute. A little bow tie. This is a faux bow, so you can't untie it or anything. And then right here has a little lace detailing in the same color as everything. And it's also on the sleeve. It definitely does give me a slight cottage core vibe. If you guys know what kind of style that is, go ahead and leave it down in the comments down below. If you are a girly girl and you are vibing with the cottage girl vibe, um, definitely leave me in the comments down below. I would like to know. I am definitely a girly girl. I love baby dolls. I love everything that is girly girl. So when I picked this out, I knew I instantly this is something that I would wear at home or even out. Um, so yeah, so this is their mint green top. Like I said, I'll have it linked down below. Um, nothing else to say about this other than it just reminds me of when I was a little girl, I probably had something similar to this and yeah, I really, really like it. Okay. So, so this is a periwinkle color. I really love this periwinkle color as well. It definitely gives me that, you know, 90s vibes. It has the scalloped sleeve right here at the wrist, as well as scalloped on the bottom. So definitely would wear this with some jeans, um, just so a, a high-waisted jeans so that I could, you know, have this out and for everybody to see. You can unbutton these guys right here. So you could leave this unbuttoned or buttoned um i have seen a lot of people leave it unbuttoned so that it like again accentuates the area or your neck if especially if you have basically a no neck this is a great way to um wear this wearing it with these black leggings again it's just the shirt that i've been changing out this is another long sleeve i know we're coming into going into spring now. Um, I just had to get these. So when winter does come around again, I'll have pieces for winter. And so if I have to store them away, I will, but I will definitely get use out of these until it is like super hot. Um, so yeah, so this is a periwinkle top. And it does, it does stop at my belly button. My belly button is pretty, pretty low. Um, so just take note of that, that um, this might be either long on you or short on you, depending on how long your torso is. So that's what it looks like on me. And again, this is a 2X. Next is this shimmery beauty. This is definitely giving me Britney Spears 90s vibes. If you guys know, you know. Um, so this is a pink iridescent piece. I was looking into for this for summer use and some spring use with like a nice uh, moto jacket or a leather jacket. I think would look really nice with this. Um, you can dress it down with some um, jeans and basically any type of cardigan or anything like that I think would look nice. Um, so one YouTuber that I've seen that also got this um, was Sunshine Oil and she actually did not like how long this, this was on her. For me, I am a, a little bit different as far as my shape. Um, I mean, we are similar in so many ways. We are apple shape and everything like that. But I think I'm just a tad bit shorter um, than her and it fits 
really good. It is supposed to be cropped, but on me, it's kind of fitting like a regular uh, tank top. So maybe that is where she was kind of confused. She would rather have it like up to here for a crop top. And I get it because if you are looking for a crop top, you wanted it to be here because that's basically on a petite a petite woman it is usually up here is where the crop would end but for me I really like how it's flowy and it, it goes down a little bit further down um, I love how it has a slip on the inside so if you really don't need a bra if you um, you know have small boobs you can get away with not wearing a bra but I do have a bra on with this um, and yeah, so I really like it. I don't see a problem with it. I definitely would um, pair this up with some high-waisted pants and um, actually hide this portion um, for my taste and for my age. Uh, it would look better with some palazzo pants that would go right over the actual fabric and that would give me some definition and some waist. So this is one of the shirts that I got and I really like it. I have no problems with it. So that's a, let's go into the next one. Last but definitely not least is this monochromatic outfit. So this is a cropped uh, top with some leggings that is the same color as the top. And this top is really nice. I could see myself pairing multiple items with this top, like some jeans or some, um, definitely some jeans. I would be rocking black leggings, um, just anything really. Um, this is definitely a lounge wear item. And it does come with a hoodie. If you didn't notice, it is a pretty big decent hood as well so this is the hood right here <laughs> um definitely just big enough um i would definitely go and walk in this this is very comfortable for me um and let's talk about the sleeves so the sleeves are just a tad bit longer but not so much so that's a good and plus for us that it just has just a little bit of fabric because it does kind of stretch um but the actual wrist area which is perfection is that it has like a cinched in portion kind of like as if you would have for um like when you have crew necks or and or crew neck sweater it's kind of the same um cuff where it kind of hugs the wrist so that it doesn't really flop anywhere. You're good to go that way. And then this is really flowy and I really enjoy that. You could pair tank top with it if you wanted to, but honestly, I real feel, I feel comfortable in this crop top. It is a little bit longer than your average crop top, but then again, I am four foot 11, so just keep that in mind. So let's go on to the Pants. So these pants would be perfection. They do come up a bit high. It does have a pretty wide, uh, pretty decent sized band right here. Um, you could see my apron po pooching out, which is fine. Don't really mind that at all. Um, now let's go on to the feet. So as you can see, this is a flared bottom. And a flared bottom is not so um it's not so forgiving on a shorter body we would have to cut this and or air and or hem them um and unfortunately since it is a legging material uh i have to see what i can do as far as hemming them or cutting them um i don't want to lose any fabric or i, wa I don't want to have any threads loose so that's something that i will be looking into um, and you could see I have a quite a bit of um, like a lot of room or a lot of fabric down there. So unfortunately, it doesn't really work for your shorter girl. But if you are taller, this outfit would work well for you. Now let's go on to my shoes. So this are these are um, black slip on shoes. 
Um, these are going to be my home shoes because I fear the faux, um, since they are faux teddy, that like uh, leaves or debris could get on top of the shoe pretty easily. So I'm not going to be wearing them outside at all. They do require a new um, insert on the inside because it is kind of a faux bottom. Um, with that said, it does need a little bit more cushion in the in the shoe, but for lounging around and wearing them around the house, they're quite fine. Um, I just would definitely change out the insole for a new insole. Um, so these are cute. These are a size eight. So yeah, that's the only down thing. Um, the only thing that is not petite plus size are these. So pants. that is the end of this video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you made it this far, please hit that like button or maybe if you didn't like it, hit that didn't like button. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of these outfits or thought of the shirts that I actually picked out for myself for summer and moving on, winter time, moving on to springtime, all that jazz. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe out there. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys know how to hem leggings. If it is all at all possible to hem leggings, please leave it in the comments down below. If you are that expert, I will shout you out in my next video. Yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe because you don't want to miss any giveaways. You guys know I have a giveaway jar. So anybody who is subscribed to my channel will be put in that giveaway jar. And then I would be picking out a winner every single time I do a giveaway. And this year we're going to be giving away a whole lot is it for this forever 21 haul forever 21 you are approved for being petite plus size approved except for your legging pants please let your managers or your people know that we would like to see more petite in seams we're coming for you all right old navy is next so hopefully you guys will stick with me for next week's video it would be about all the basics at Old Navy. So I have lots to share with you guys. Don't forget to stick with me, hit that bell notification button, and I'll see you in my next video. Like always, stay super sweet. Bye. <laughs> Do you wanna know?